uh, you know, I talk about uh, things on this show that other people won't touch with a 100-foot pole, and tonight's going to be no different. Uh, <laughs> and this is the thing I've been trying to tell people. You don't understand what demigods is? Did you look it up when I told you to? Like, I talked about this last week. Do you know what a demigod is? A demigod is a person that's half, um, half supernatural and half human. Who do you think made the pyramid? Who do you really think made those pyramids, man? Did you not know that the pyramid is also on the side of the moon? Did you know that? Did you know that the pyramid that you see in Egypt is on the side of the moon? I wonder why. Spirit took them over. You ain't gonna come here and think you're gonna set up camp and the fallen angels, this is their home. They got nowhere else to go. They can't go out in the galaxy. The Lord forbids them to go. They can go from the moon to earth. That's it. And they decided, okay, we're going to take the Lord's people and destroy them. And that's what they've done. And that's the offspring of angels. When the angel fathers came down here and mixed seed with the human, human side, they left their offsprings on earth when the Lord put their fathers in captivity. They still was roaming the earth. I'm, I'm going to tell y'all something. A lot of people in power are not who you think they are. You're gonna be surprised to see who Obama really is and Rothschild and the Bar Rockefeller, I'm telling you now. But I'm, I have to put the vibration out to let y'all know. These people that you see before you are not who you think they are, man. They're straight up demigods. This is a spiritual warfare. That's why America is going through t turbulence. America is gonna be crushed, you know, and the people that's running America are evildoers. They're, they're working for Satan, man. They look, Obama looks just like humanity, right? All these Bush and Clintons, but those are demonic gods, man. I mean, Lord knows I wish I could just show it to you the way I see it, but I can't. I can only relate this to you, and those who's going to gravitate to it will. The demigods, which are the fallen angels' offsprings, and when they come up on this earth, they live inside of whoever called them up. That's why Beyonce got a thing called Sasha Fears. They call that demon up. They absolutely done made a deal with these fallen angels, man. And these angels are using them. You're going to run into soul scalping and possessions, demonic possessions, which are, are two different things, basically. Because a scalping can typically take place outright, but it usually involves some kind of demonic possession first. Demons take hold of a person, and then the ultimate scalping takes place. Their bodies can become havens, um, literally, for demonic entities. Almost every human has been successfully occupied. We can... Barely a bone not broken, no organ ruptured. This one wants to live. When we occupy this host, her memories will lead us to the resistance. Her name is Melanie Strider. She was born in Louisiana. Her family escaped the initial waves of colonization. What is happening? Is she resisting? It's important you stay in control of this host. This is war. And so now it makes more sense than ever because when you look at the bloodlines of all these secret societies and these groups, everything's always bloodline oriented. And the reason they get bloodline oriented is because it's a serpent seed bloodline they're protecting. Because with serpent seed bloodline, you can do particular things. It's a different seed than Yah seed through Adam. It's a different seed. And so you're going to you're going to see when you open up your eyes and, and, and become awake to what this new world order is, what the Illuminati is, so you can grasp the idea that the Illuminati is, is, is dominated by, by 13 bloodline families. Bloodlines. They protect that bloodline. They intermarry with the bloodlines to protect that bloodline. When you look at the mafia, what do you see? A very bloodline-protected organization. Why? Because... They're serpent seed. They protect that Italian 
serpent seed bloodline. And not all Italians are serpent seed, but the mafia protects a certain bloodline. And it's only people that that have that particular bloodline uh, in the mafia that can become bosses. And all very tied into the Vatican, as are all the Illuminati families tied into the Vatican. Uh, that protects all. They probably keep it all in their little vault in the Vatican. Probably keep everything, all the genealogies, and you know how all these serpents are. But anyway, the CIA is no different. That's why you'll see many intelligence agencies. It's a it's a generational thing. It's a family thing. Where my only ally is another double agent, a man I hardly know, my father. They shake hands with Lucifer. They know who he is, and, and Lucifer appears in many different personifications on earth. He appears as a man, he appears as a woman. Uh, he can appear as any type of being he wants to. Uh, I, you know, I was, you watch these movies, Hollywood, and, you know, sometimes they come up with these movies and, like, supernatural show or whatever, and they'll show Satan has an office. And I always just laughed at those until I realized that was real. And I was also told it was real, and I'm, I was like, no way, he really does. He owns an office. He's, he's a typical businessman, not all the time. It's just one of his little hobbies. But he has an office, Bill. He has an office building in New York. He has an office in this building. And it's called Goldman Sachs. I know, you're all shocked. But he does. He does hold an office office in Goldman Sachs. Because, you know, the Lord has also granted Satan some power, too. How do you think that they're so intelligent in doing what they do? Do you really think that they're that smart to be able to build an oil rig like that? They're that, that smart to be able to build NASA machinery to go out of space? Satan has powers. Satan has to counsel with the Lord to see what he can and cannot do. I mean, if you go to Isaiah 45 and 7, the Lord tell you, I control the peace, I control the evil. I mean, the Lord controls everything in this galaxy. He lets Satan get away with a lot of things because he's bound by his word. When these people pray to Satan, they have power. Don't think the children of Satan don't have power. They do for now. They have power, man. When they pray to Satan, he makes things happen for them, don't they? They become rich. They become powerful. They get the latest technology. And so you don't think that Satan has demons that's lurking the earth trying to pretend to be the Lord because they think they are what God. That's why the Lord even gave them a blessing. He gave them weapons of mass destruction. And what did they do? What did Satan give it? What did Satan give his elite? He gave them the harp because when he gave them the harp, now they feel like they're just as powerful as the Lord. They control the weather. They control Tusami. They can control Katrina. And they're still doing it. Well, they need to depend on technology for this because, after all, Satan as a god is pretty useless. He has to depend on technology for everything. Otherwise, he can't rule the world. He's not omniscient. He's not omnipresent. He's not all-powerful. He's just allowed to do with what he has, with what the Lord allows him to do with, <laughs> with the things he has. Argus is the equivalent of having up to 100 predators look at an area the size of a medium-sized city at once. This image was taken 17,500 feet above Quantico, Virginia and covers 15 square miles. This whole image is at a very, very fine resolution. So if we wanted to know what is going on in any spot along this image, say near this building at this intersection, we can generate a moving image that shows what's going on in the area. Simply by touching the screen, Antoniades has opened up a window showing a detailed area while still maintaining the broader context. And everything that is a moving object is being automatically tracked. The color boxes represent that the computer has recognized the moving objects. You can see individuals crossing the street. You can see individuals walking in parking lots. 
there's actually enough resolution to be able to see the people waving their arms or walking around, what kind of clothes they wear. And you could pick the location of where you produce these images anywhere in the entire field of view. Now, how this happened, man trusted in these fallen angels. They made a deal with these angels to come in human format. All right, they got spacecraft, all this stuff. All this, not all this technology that we got came from them. They were already fallen beings. They're Satan's pawns. They're Satan's aces. They're his generals. They're, they're, they're people, beings that were with him and helped him instigate the last rebellion when he was kicked out of heaven. When Satan was full of pride and wanted to be worshipped as God, they were with him then. All of these people have a, a, a hidden agenda, and they all pray to Satan. And Satan rewards them and controls them with his offsprings, and they call the fallen angels. So they morph themselves, man. They can morph themselves into a woman, a man, a, a car, a house, whatever they want to do. I've seen symbols. We've kept much from you, Sam. This isn't my war. I fear it soon will be. What you're about to see is top secret. Do not tell my mother. Any of these look like the symbols you saw? Where did you get these? Archaeologists found these unexplained markings in ancient ruins all over the world. Our entire space race of the 1960s was in response to an event. If you breathe a word of what you've seen here, it will do time for treason. Everything humans know of our planet, we were told had been shared. You lied to us. You've made a grave mistake. took over the planet but they this is why they they're, they they have this thing called alien there's no such thing as aliens but the fallen angels offsprings is causing this hysteria with 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 aliens so you'd be scared to death and you accept the the mark of the beast before they get here. just want to say so long percy oh and just one thing going to start this thing of Armageddon themselves because they know their time is running out and their father who is Satan don't have much time so the the so-called demigods who are the fallen angels offspring are already set up to take the place over and to do what they do and he will confirm the covenant with the men for seven years this marks the beginning of our seven years of peace the end time prophecy has begun the whole world will feel sympathy and love for me they will follow me wherever I lead them. Left behind. And then they're going to just start forcing you because the, the fallen angel offspring is ruthless. So when it gets ready to do the mark of the beast, it won't be man controlling it. They're going to show who they are. They're not going to, they're not going to sugarcoat nothing anymore. When the things finally come down to the mark of the beast, these angels are going to show who they are. And they everywhere. Everybody you thought was a friend, they're going to come out of that flesh. And they're going to show who they really are. They're going to be the fallen angels offspring. It's gonna be horrifying. It was all part of my plan. And no one, human or visitor, can comprehend the magnitude of what is it. This is not a coincidence, man. So who will give the mark of the beast? The damn fallen angels offspring are gonna get the mark of the beast. 